Hello and welcome back to Acorn Pipe. Uh, we'd like to show you here how to copy branches. So we press F11, then we hold down the shift key and click on the tag of the socolette in this case, the first item of the branch. That selects the branch. Now we press Control C to copy it. Then we click here at another location on the same pipe and paste it. We could also paste it on a similar pipe provided it's headed in the same direction. And then we press enter to accept that. F4 to, to re, um, refresh the screen. And of course you'd need to press F6 and dimension the locations of these branches to avoid getting a little message about unlocated branches when you save it. Okay, now there is another kind of branch which is in this other drawing and that's a, a branch where the item you want to copy forms part of the header so it's not just something you stick on the outside of the pipe it, it's part of the pipe. So to copy in this case again we press F11 we select the lateral that's forming part of the branch. This could be a T either, but in this case it's a lateral. And then hold down the shift key and click on the next item to select it as well. And that selection will then be propagated to the rest of the branch. Then press Control C to copy the branch or copy, copy all the items selected. And yes, we'd like to copy the dimensions as well. And then right click in open space and hit paste. Now we press enter and we can press escape to unselect all those. Now to I'll just press F4 to refresh here. Now we need to select everything here and what we want to do is we want to move this across the path of this pipe so that this pipe will um, will have the potential to connect onto here and in Acorn Pipe, when you move a group of items like this, or even a single item, if there's a pipe that can connect to it, it will detect that and ask you if you want to connect. And so we could we could click uh, here or here or even I think here, and select all connected items, and then use the arrow keys to move, and you can move up or across whatever as soon as it crosses the path of the existing pipe or tries to you'll get this message do you want to connect these items so we hit yes and now we're connected and of course it's going to want a dimension so we put the dimension on there I'll make it 900 millimeters and um, there it is it's that simple and if you don't like where the branch ended up you can always select it and I'll shift click here and then if I press the one key uh, I can move it down here I'll move it back a little bit press enter and that's it thank you